Hello everyone, we are from The Online Citizen. Uh, this is Howard Lee, commentary editor. This is Terry Shi, from the Rich Media Editor. The Online Citizen is formed in 2006 December by, uh, by Andrew Lowe and Remy Chu. With the view that basically TOC started as, a, as in response to a, a lack of political information, one of the key things that we do is to cover uh, politics, in particular opposition politics, so it's really to give them a bit more voice because that's really something that's lacking in Singapore. Um, some of the other things that we do uh, pick up uh, on what advocacy groups have been doing. Things like the uh, population white paper to test, a lot of the things that are happening at Speaker's Corner. Um, and we also do court cases uh, in relation to freedom of expression issues. Civil society in Singapore is small. Very few individuals are involved in this. So, uh, so in order not to waste this effort by all these passionate individuals, I think TOC, what we want is to help to pull all these people together to, to act as a uh, so-called uh, microphone uh, uh, to amplify the voice from a few passionate and dedicated individual into a voice which can uh, waken up uh, the nation as a whole. One of the key things that we do do uh, is around the Free My Internet uh, movement where we got together with a few other bloggers and, and groups of bloggers and blog sites to basically push against the MDA regulations uh, to basically tighten the Broadcasting Act. Um, for that, uh, we have been a very active part and uh, we went out to protest and also we, went, uh, we, we had an had a online blackout. So that was, that was something that TOC does. Civil society advocates that, that has inspired uh, me personally in the work and TOC would be like groups like Bukit Brown, uh, the Brownies who have been working on Bukit Brown, uh, Jolivan Ram from Home and we have like Vanessa Ho from Project X. Uh, with all that what they have been doing on their personal capacity has really inspired me much uh, in my work. I think all advocacy groups in Singapore do have their rightful place and everyone is working very hard towards one common goal which is to make Singapore a lot more open and inclusive. So kudos to all of them. Uh, but i also like to give a specific mention to, to uh, people who are working in the media scene. People are pushing the boundaries in creating a more free, op a free and open media environment for Singapore.